Hello, gambling tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest III, the Super Nintendo remake, with the English translation with me, Blue Ankylo, for the Super Nintendo. Did I say that twice? Okay, so welcome back, folks. Between episodes, I did a little bit of work. Um, I think I got, like, one level up for everybody. Maybe a couple people got twos. They weren't particularly amazing level ups. Like, early game level ups aren't very amazing. But uh, I did go back to the last um, dungeon, and I did miss one treasure chest, but worry not, folks, it was just an antidote herb. So um, you did really did not miss much. It was at the top left of the second last floor or something. It really wasn't that big of a deal. Anyway, what I have been doing since then was just plotting out sort of what we needed to do today, and basically I wanted a little bit more money. I'm sure we could get by with our current gear, uh, but you may notice, like, Blue, you've got all this extra money. Well, that's because I spent a little time down here. And uh, I want to at least show this off once. So, um, I did this with the power of being able to reload and try again. Uh, I think, basically, as you level up, your base bet goes up. At our current level, it's 80 gold. I don't... Maybe that's our character's level times 10 or something. Anyway, you place your bet, and then you have to pick one of the three creatures who's going to fight each other. Now, I don't know exactly how they make these odds, but for the most part, the lower the odds, the lower the payout, and the more likely that they are to win. So if we pick Frogor, we have a reasonably good chance of him winning and us doubling our money. But if we pick the Trick Moth, we have a pretty tiny chance of him winning. But if we do win, if, we do, if he does survive, then um, we multiply our money, we bet by 10. So let's just bet on Frogor and see what happens. It's kind of fun, but I don't really want to spend a lot of time on the let's play while I'm recording on this kind of thing. There's really not a lot of strategy to it. Um, if you happen to... Mm, well, you can either use reloading, or if you somehow believe... Well, we lost already, so really bad luck. So if, by some miracle here... Well, I was going to say, if, if the moth won by some miracle... That would have been a great bet, but uh, the Babel was only worth like three times or something, so... Anyway, I think for the most part, if you're not reloading, you're probably just going to lose money. Uh, but if you are reloading, you know, you can eventually save up a bit. I wouldn't recommend you waste a ton of time in there, but I'm just saying that you could. So anyway, um, what can I do with that? Well, now I've got enough money that we can spend a little bit without me feeling super guilty, and... So we've, we've visited the... We've, we've, we've explored this town on camera. We did all that. Um, I'm just dumb, trying to remember what was going on. It's been a couple days since I recorded. Also, it's 2019. Brand new year. Uh, so yeah, we've got items to buy. So we could buy... Leather hats for Bella and Holly. They're quite cheap. And I believe Blue has a leather helmet, and I don't think we can buy anything better for the helmet slot right now, so let me just double check here. It's pretty cheap, so I would have bought these kind of anyway. I probably have, like, 2,000 more gold than I should right now, give or take. Um, and again, I just feel like I kind of tested a little bit, like, the next enemies in the next couple areas. Uh, they're really strong. Like, uh, we could win eventually, like, if we're careful, we go back to town, heal a lot, all that. I'm hoping by just spending a little bit of money, a little bit of time between... Oops, that was the wrong one. Sorry, M. Dobry, you don't actually need that. Um, anyway, I just figured if I spent a little bit of time in the monster fighting arena, getting a little bit better equipment on camera, then we could spend less time... Or off camera, then we could spend less time on camera trying to um, make progress. Alright, so, so helmet slots are maxed out. Everyone's got you know, wooden helmet, leather hat, leather hat, leather hat... Okay, and then other weapons we want to buy. So, uh, Fella has our first whip, and we're actually going to be able to get... In fact, we could probably just go to the next town and save all this trouble already, but I'm not going to sequence break, per se. A lot of times in these sorts of games, if you know when the next town is that has good items, you can just hold off till you're shopping till then. But I think the chainmail is a good choice for M. Daubry. That's going to be a pretty significant defense upgrade. And this is why I bought all this money. Or cheated all this money. Uh, I could also buy it for blue. Mm. 
Also could use some more iron spears too, you know. So I'm going to buy Bronze Shield for Fella, because that'll bring his defense into the 40s, which sounds really good. His massive agility, now that he's got some equipment, rather than just being half naked, um, should really, you know, keep him alive. And I'll buy the Chainmail for Blue. This might be as far as we go, because truth be told, I'm pretty sure the next town is not too far away. And I would like to still have some money for new stuff there. Uh, so all we could do is you could give M. Dobry a little bit more defense and Blue a little bit more defense. Depends on if we're going to get new shields anytime. You know what? This is fine. This is the whole point. Is I, uh, I made all this money kind of illegitimately so that I could get my defense up and stuff. And if I waste it all now, that's fine. If I was, you know, if I was playing without the arena, I probably wouldn't have bought everything. Um, we don't need shell armor. We could get leather armor for Fella, which is probably nice because he's only wearing, like, basic clothing. As a thief, he doesn't get to wear a lot of heavy armor, even less than um, than M. Daubry, interestingly. He's still wearing clothes, so yeah, okay. You have some actual armor now. It's actually called armor. And uh, I think I'm going to hold off buying another spear. I might end up buying one more later, but there's a cool little thing we're going to get to very soon where, although it might take some work, we actually... I changed my mind. We're going to buy one more. Uh, M. Daubry needs a new weapon one way or the other. So there you go. We're probably going to get a new weapon for Fella or Holly, though, at the next sort of area. And, uh, you know, look, I spent most of my money. Whatever. <laughs> it's my money. I can do what I want with it. All right. Then we sell our old stuff. And I guess, like I said, I think I said last episode or, or not too long ago, um, the way this works in, in Dragon Quest is you can sell old equipment for 75%, which is much better than a lot of other RPGs. Uh, I think Final Fantasy is 50%. Uh, some of the other popular series you sell for like 25% or, or whatever. Which really sort of punishes you for, you know, buying at every town. It's it's like, well, every time you buy, you lose all that money mostly. In this game, though, it's a little bit more... It's a little bit less punishing. Like, you know, sure, if I, if I, if I find better uh, a better helmet in the next town, I... You know, how much money was I really out? Was that turban actually worse than, than the leather hat? Did I? I feel like maybe the turban was better and I just didn't pay attention. You know, I, I've been known to do that once in a while, just not pay attention. Yeah. So I actually decreased her defense accidentally. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking that we didn't have any hats other than leather helmets and uh, this new hat. But yeah, we were able to buy turbans not too long ago, which are technically better. So there we go. Good job. You know, if you caught that when I immediately unequipped the uh, turban, you know, plus one blanky little point for all you guys. Good job for catching that. Uh, okay, anyway, that looks like we're pretty much maxed out for equipment. I have two Pachisi tickets. Not a whole lot else that's interesting. And uh, still a little bit of money left over. So that's good. Okay, let's get out of here. It's enough time wasting for this episode. So, if you look at the map, I've sort of wandered around the nearby areas a little bit just to just to see. Um, I did, you know, someone in, in the castle mentioned going to the east is a bad idea. Uh, they were not lying. Don't cross that bridge over there. If you're playing along, anyway, be be very careful about crossing that bridge. Um, I mean, we've got better better equipment than when I tried it. But I tried it kind of at the at the end of last episode, and I couldn't even kill a single enemy over there. So uh, it's probably better to, to save that area for now and head north. Also, some of these enemies might look new. I don't think we fought any rogue knights before until just now. Um, they do a lot of damage. This is part of the reason I wanted to buy the armor. Like, even with blue with an extra, I don't know, 20 defense or something, he still takes 12 damage per hit there, right? So, however the exact calculations work, we went from 20-something defense to 43, um, and we're still taking big hits. And that's just one rogue knight, you know, there can be much larger groups of dangerous enemies. This is sort of... I guess in my opinion, this is kind of where Dragon Quest III starts to get a little bit harder. The enemies get a pretty significant upgrade around this area. So, I want to just fight a couple random battles, 
I'm sure we can get more level ups pretty quickly. I didn't really do any level grinding between episodes, so we're not over leveled. I was just, I just wanted the money basically. All right, so where are we? Portoga is right through that door. We can only open it with a magic key. What? You know where the magic key is? No. Well, you should be able to find it. They gave us the thief key real quick, but uh, the magic key is going to open black doors or silver doors, whatever you're going to call them. So, no way to Portugal yet. I mean, Portoga, totally not Portugal. Uh, so really, there's only one way to go, and that's north. Well, you could cross the bridge and die, or you can head north and probably not die. Also, the king in the last castle in um, Romala did tell us to go kill some guy, Kandar or something, some bandit up north. So we sort of have a quest. I should have double-checked how much... Um, how much experience we need for level ups. Hmm, look at that, Holly. I think that's what happened when I first fought these rogue knights. I was I just fought a couple off camera. Uh, and without spears, like, Daubry and Holly were just doing one damage to them. And I was like, oh. And they were hitting me for like 20. I'm like, okay guys, maybe we're not ready to fight rogue knights yet. And caterpillars, I don't know if you've seen them yet. Or if you've seen their spell yet. They do have a relatively annoying spell that they can use. Although, of course, they're not going to show it on camera. Um, oh, I did learn a couple spells. Uh, I forgot to say that. Yeah, because we got M. Dobry level up. So you've seen speed up, but now he has surround, which is good. It potentially lowers an, a group of enemies' accuracy or sleep, but it's not as good as sleep from Dragon Quest II, which hit the entire enemy group. This is just a single target sleep spell. It's still quite good when it hits, but, um, you know, it's not multi-target. Alright, so yeah, we're not going to get a whole lot of magic because we only have one spellcaster, but M. Daubry will get stuff now and then. And so, well, two if you cast me. If you count blue, I get some spells, but uh, not a whole lot. Oh, did I... Uh, wait, 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 did I get... Did I learn Return on camera? I feel like I probably did and I forgot to mention it. This works just like the Chimera Wing or the Wing of Wyvern. Uh, and I may have been able to just use this because I've forgotten about it probably. I can use this to just travel to whichever town I've been to. So we can get around a lot quicker. Um, you saw Hawkeye. I haven't used it yet though. So fella's eyes become as sharp as an eagle's. Something 4 east and 16 north. Hmm. We'll go up there in just a minute. And uh, was there any other spells that I forgot about? Just, Holly doesn't learn any spells. And I think you understand. Hopefully we've shown off all of uh, M. Daubry spells. So there's this strange... Strange place. You know, I'm going to turn the music up a little bit. No, I'm not. Well, I'm going to have to check the video. I've been playing with some audio settings between recordings, so if the if the music's a little bit quieter today, I'll just I'll check the video once I'm done recording, and then next time I'll know. Anyway, there's this place here. And uh, this was not in the NES game at all. And it's... Uh, well, it's new. It's got old men falling out of the sky. Ah, again, I failed. But I won't give up. Someday, I'll finish this. Look, there's an opening up there in the ceiling. I wonder what's up there. Probably a boomerang. <laughs> so yeah, spoiler alert, this is where we get our boomerangs. But it's a fancy board game. Now, this is the smallest one in the game. All you gotta do is get to the goal to get the grand prize. So it's not, this is not that difficult. Later on in the game, there will be much longer games. And although I will show you one on camera, to be to be honest, I'll probably end up doing most of these off camera because you kind of have limited Parcheesi tickets and they're very random. Now I've got two right now, so we're okay, but I'm still gonna put a save down first just because you can kind of waste them if you're unlucky. So you gotta use a Parcheesi ticket, special resource. I'm not sure if you can ever buy them. I think they're just... You find them around the world. Um, and yeah, there's a limited number of turns. So to get the reward, you know, you've got 10 rounds. How do you play? You roll the dice. And you, you can technically look at the map ahead of time. So this is a nice small one. You can, you can see lots of tiles. You can probably guess what a good number of them do. 
Some of them give you extra dice, so we've got 10 turns. Uh, the dice would give us one extra turn, or two extra turns, or three extra turns. Um, so, or less turns, even. Um, sometimes you'll need to find the treasure chest to find a rare loot, or a shop, or a pot, or something. So sometimes the best gear is on a random tile, but usually the main goal, of course, is just to get to the goal and get some sort of presence at the end. But uh, sometimes there's more than just the one thing you need to do. It's kind of like a very, very early version of... Um, what was that game? Mario Party on the N64? Kind of like that. So anyway, let's give this a try. Uh, what are the stats? Oh, right. Oh yeah, you play as your hero too. So if you go too far ahead and you play a, a Parcheesi game... Uh, at a low level, it, like at a higher level Parcheesi board at a low level, you might get into a random encounter that you can't really win as your hero. But for the most part, I think we should be fine here. Alright, well, a six is a good start. So you get to choose which way you want to go whenever you hit a break. Um, if we go to the right, there's a treasure chest possibly available. Um, but it's slightly more squares total than if we just go straight up. Let's see if we get lucky, maybe... And uh, we can land on the chest or something by going this way. I don't think there's very many. Well, two sixes in a row. That's pretty good for progress. And we land on trapdoor. And that's it. Parcheesi ticket gone. So not lucky is what you would say. That's why I put a save state down. Because stuff like that's going to happen. And I only have so many tickets. Like I basically have two attempts right now. If I hadn't used my reloading. Now... I'm using save states to save time. Obviously, you could use in-game saves, reset the game, and maybe not feel like you're cheating as much. This is just faster. What I won't be doing on camera is, like, um, reloading mid... Yeah, look at this. This is blue against four anteaters. Now, we should be fine, but like I said, if you're really at a low level, some of these random encounters might be too strong for one character. So... I was happy to have bought blue some armor and all that. Alright, give me something good here. Uh, let's take the extra dice. Now, I know that obviously there's a trap floor on the side, so we want to try to avoid that. But, again, it just sort of comes down to luck. You found a medical herb. Now, if I was lucky enough to find, say, a Parcheesi ticket, um, you know, that would be pretty cool, but... Again, I don't know what the chances of finding another ticket on the map are. A doubtful voice can be heard. The passage of calmness will soon be lit by stars and forgotten. Ten more turns! Okay, the question marks are kind of scary. If I remember correctly, they're kind of like a random event. Some of them can lower your stats. Like, minus four strength. Sucks to be you. We have a lot of turns now, though, so that's pretty good. As long as you don't roll a two... So, okay, you know what? I'm never going that direction again. My biggest problem with this game... I mean, obviously it's very random, but I'm okay with random. My problem is just that it, um, there's limited tickets, and if you could just buy tickets, uh, I probably wouldn't be so mad. Can I just escape? Because I expect I'm going to fall down the trap door every single time I go. Alright, no escape. I'm pretty sure I warned you guys early on that running in this game was mostly pointless. Anyway, I want to at least show s s surviving the Parcheesi game board once on camera. But yeah, in the future I'll probably not even bother on camera because they just take so much time. Um, one, two, so if we go to the left we'll lose a turn. If we go up, I don't know what will happen. I guess we're losing... Okay, you can, you can explore. So if we go up, we lose two dice. If we go left, we move back two squares, which is better, I guess. Because maybe the jar could have something good in it. Like a $80 hat. As long as we don't roll two and land on the move... The, the... <laughs> yep. Good, so we lost two turns anyway, basically. Alright, one, two, three, four. I have no idea what the pentagram will do. Probably bad. It was good! Five. One, two, three, four, five. We're almost there, guys. Of course, we find more monsters. Can I run from things that are not yet? They're not even worth my time. Just flee. 
All right, we got five turns to get to the goal. It looks likely we even get a treasure chest. A life nut. Well, that's one of the good ones then. Permanent HP increase. We have four chances to roll the correct number and not land in a trapdoor. This is where your luck really goes home. This is safe. I don't know. It doesn't really matter much. Basically, I need to roll a one and not a three. Good, we got it. On camera even. It only took three tries, which was more tickets than I had. And I technically missed one treasure chest, so I kind of have to try it again later to see what's in the treasure chest. Because it could be something really awesome. Or in the shop, or, you know, all those things I was telling you about. So what do I get for my trouble? The steel sword, yeah. That's why I was worried about buying weapons. And 500 gold. Well done! You win! Now claim your prize and fall in the hole. Yeah. The first king of Pachisi. Maybe we'll learn more about Pachisi one other later in the future. Okay, well... It wasn't a boomerang the way I thought I was going to get a boomerang. These, these places tend to be where you get boomerangs. Seeing as this was such a hard thing to get. Let's uh, see if we can get the maximum HP increase for just me, because I'm the tank. I wonder what the max is. Let's see, because the other like attribute items just gave us 1 to 3. So far, it seems to be 2 to 4. I'm just curious if there's any higher possible rolls you can get here. So far, it's 2 or 4. Or maybe even 5. Okay, so it's, it's at least between 2 and 5. I'll take 5, whatever. It's enough. Alright, so we've got a good sword. This is our first, like, nice-looking weapon. we got an actual steel sword that I can equip, but nobody else. So I didn't really need to buy that extra iron spear for M. Daubry, because, unfortunately, Holly, like, misses a lot of turns, so giving her awesome weapons is not quite as important. Anyway, I will come back here once I end today's episode, and I will try to get the last treasure chest and fully clear... I mean, I've got one more ticket, right? So I can go through this one more time. Um, look at our items. Yeah, I've got one more Pachisi ticket in my bag. Hopefully we'll get some more before too much longer. And I will try to get that chest on the right side, and maybe... Um, I don't know. Maybe the shop. See, there might be something in the shop I could buy. And I'll just... You know, I'll just tell you what I find, basically, because who knows. Anyway, let's just keep going for now. Like I said, Parcheesi is, is cool. It's a nice addition, but it takes a long time for recording's sake. Kind of like monster gambling. On the plus side, Blue's going to hit these guys real hard now. See, I gave Holly a nice spear, and she just played with it. She didn't even attack. Alright, level 10 Jester. Some good HP, lots of luck, not much else. Alright, so this is our next town. And it's nighttime, so we get to explore night version of the town first. Sure, there might be a skeleton in the graveyard. We'll deal with that soon. Let's go save this guy from the skeleton, maybe? Just sleeping. When I was alive, I used to be a great fighter. They say I defeated a grizzly bear with my hands. Bear hands. But the truth is I was using the iron claws. Ha ha ha. Okay, well I guess... That was a good catch. So that's small metal number six. Glad I checked out the, uh, the grave. That was cool. Okay. So this is a pretty small town, really. Like, this won't take too long. We'll save the inn for last, because we want you don't want to don't want to lose our night time. Damn you, Kandar! You won't fool me again. Hey, good, another Parcheesi Pachisi ticket. So now I can do two more tries, uh, assuming I don't cheat. But I mean, you gotta cheat if you want to get all the good prizes. I don't know. I don't think you'd be ever be lucky enough to get all the rewards without um, reloading like that. Hey, a poison dagger. That sounds good. And a club. Maybe not quite so good. So what is the poison dagger? I bet you it's really low damage. 
yeah. The only person who can use it here is Fella. It would only target one enemy. I bet she has a chance to insta-kill, or at the very least, paralyze. It's often called, like, the Poison Moth Dagger, although I forget in this version what it does exactly. Usually you give it to your mage who has no strength, and then if they hit, at least they have a chance of killing something. Even if normally they'll just do one damage, because normally with a the staff they'll do one damage anyway kind of thing. But we'll just sell it. We'll steal it from this guy and then sell it back to him the next day. They're only closed because you're standing in the way, fool. Alright, and then there's an old man on a little island. Mm, even a very weak magician can bring down a monster by hitting a vital point with a poison dagger. Long ago, they used to sell them at an item store. Alright, so yeah, that's essentially what I was telling you guys, right? So, uh, thanks, video game. I guess that's it for what this town. Alright, well, we got a pretty good amount of gold. But who knows what they'll sell at the store. If they'll even sell it to us now that we've been a... We are the bad men. We are the robbers, the bandits, in this version. I've come in pursuit of Gandar, but apparently he has fled to a tower somewhere. Alright, weapon shop. Okay, so. Now we can just buy chain whips. Yeah. And iron armor. Yeah. Uh, and of course, better shields as soon as I start buying shields. Like, this is kind of the trouble. <laughs> this is why all the money is just gone immediately. Anyway, the chain whip is a good upgrade for Fella. Um, I mean, I, I'll actually, I'll double check it because I'm pretty sure whips always attack groups. But it's possible that this one's special because it's like a normal... Man, that poison dagger is trash. Um, like, I think the multi-target weapons were mostly added in the Dragon Quest... In the Super Nintendo remake. So it's possible that um, this is like a, an NES version that's... Uh, th this weapon, perhaps... Like, I don't know what to say. I'm pretty sure it'll work on groups. I want to test it out before I sell his old whip. I don't think... I'll hold on to that for just a second. I don't think the boxer shorts are going to be good for anybody. Alright, we've cleaned up our excess equipment for the moment. Um, boxer shorts. Perfect for our lewd thief, but uh, no. I mean, they're almost as good as leather armor, which is, I mean, pretty impressive for some, um, for some underwear. Let me just 100% double check that we can um, still multi-target with this new whip. I would be amazed if we couldn't. Yeah, there you go. So it's just a much stronger whip. Uh, which means, you know, collecting all those mini medals to get uh, to get an early multi-target weapon doesn't really matter very much. Seeing as you could just buy whips that are much stronger before very long. And truthfully... I'm pretty sure we can get a boomerang that hits everything that's, like, not just all enemies in a group, all enemies in the battle. I'm fairly certain we'll be able to get that between episodes. Welcome to Kazav! You may have noticed that I could teleport here ahead of time because I checked it out. If you go west from the village, you'll find the Tower of Champagne! It's like window panes, but I feel like it's physical pain. There's a world-famous fighter buried in the town cemetery. He's just bones now, though. You see, he defeated a grizzly bear with his bare hands. Oh, man. I hope this guy doesn't fight a grizzly bear with his bare hands without getting actual claws. He'll die. Because the villagers made the elves angry, the whole village was put to sleep. It's pretty difficult to believe this, but apparently there's an entire village that sleeps somewhere in the world. This is the local diner. Relax and make yourself at home while you enjoy a good meal. I just want that I want that, uh, that barrel back there. Also, did you guys notice there was a secret? Were you paying really close attention? We can go to the second floor and rob him. If you want to meet with Mama and Papa, they'll be back in the evening. Not if I have anything to say about it. Rob the place, guys. We got a thief as our second main character. Rob him blind. Get out of the way. Sure, they call us a hero. 
Alright, we got some more life nuts. Uh, who's got the lowest HP this time? So we got 61, 62, 49, 58. You know what? This time, I will give the healer, Daubry, some max HP. Five seems good enough. And we have a fur hood, which is really good. It's technically better than the turban, but we get a better swing in defense by replacing a hat with it, basically. So you know what, Daubry, today is your lucky day. You now have pretty much the highest defense in the group, I think. Very nearly. The only person with low defense left is Holly, who doesn't do anything. So it serves her right. I mean, she does one thing, but it's not very combat related. Don't worry, Holly, if you're still watching. You'll have your day in the sun. You'll have your day in the sun. Okay, so now we have to come back here at night again, now that we know about this secret place. Let's see if this guy noticed that we robbed him. This is an item shop. I used to sell poison daggers until someone stole it. Okay, this is our first purchase. Oh, we can just buy helmets now, too. Sheesh. You know what, fella? You can have a helmet. A wood helmet. It's going to be super uncomfortable. But you can have it. It's better than a leather hat, I guess. You know, I just bought the last upgrade. Uh, but yeah, we can buy rabbit's foot, which should just be increasing your luck by 8, by the looks of things. I guess I'll get one for me, because I have terrible, terrible luck. That's the wrong person. Fella, you're already lucky enough. To be honest, 8 luck probably doesn't do anything, so this is mostly just a waste of money. But I want to have an, an accessory equipped. I feel like at level, what am I, at level 9 or something, having like 9 luck is just, or level 8 with like 9 luck, just terrible. Anyway, we could buy one for everybody if you really cared, I don't think it really makes much difference. But it did double my luck, so if that means anything, it's doubled. Alright, let's clear up. We found out that the boxer shorts weren't very good. Uh, we found out the spiny whip is kind of trash. I could hand me down this to uh, Ollie, but I'm not going to bother right now. Uh, we're going to get rid of that hat that I just bought. Today's been a day with a lot of shopping. You know, we bought a better hat, and then we sold the hat and bought an even better hat. And then pretty much that's just the story. This, today's episode is all about buying and selling hats. Um, okay, so hat purchasing and sales are over. Uh, let's go talk to this guy, see if he noticed that his poison dagger. Ah, don't come in here, yeah. He only has one poison dagger and we sold we stole it. And then sold it back to the other weapon shop guy. <laughs> Alright, so um, let's do a couple combats here. I know we'll be ending the episode fairly soon without really going anywhere, but you got to see a Pachisi game, so that's that's your value for the day. Um, no, what I want to do is I want to show you that town at night to see if there's anything interesting in the um, above the diner, basically. And then in between episodes, before we really make any forward motion, I'm going to try to do some more Pachisi because I'm pretty sure we can find a boomerang in there. And if I can if I can get a boomerang, then I'll want Fella to use the boomerang. And then his chain whip I will hand me down to Holly. That's why I didn't want to spend any more money on on uh, whips or weapons. Although I believe if I have enough money, I could probably buy the iron armor uh, for blue. So there's still a little bit of shopping left. But um, I figured we'd save that for a little later. Also, this should take us to Portoga. And it is very nice. Look how, look how quickly we're killing stuff now. All these cool spears and swords, they make a huge difference. I'm glad I spent all my money buying all these weapons. Definitely, definitely good, good, good value. Um, but yeah, because of the way the return spell works, just visiting a town once is, like, super, super helpful. Because then we can just teleport back. Although, instead of the Portoga town, looks like we found... Oh, right, the Portoga town's probably past the locked door. That's right, that's what the guard said. So that's probably the tower, the Champagne Tower, we need to do. Um, let's see if this leads anywhere down here. Let's say we at least explored one split from uh, Kazab, the town of Kazab, because, like... 
We had three different directions we could go. Lots of lots of world map exploring needed. You look at the uh, yeah, there we go. So we're like in France, I guess, Champagne, right? And we can't actually travel south uh, to get to Spain and Portugal because we're gonna need to be able to we're gonna need that key basically to get through that. So hopefully that explains everything. Now you're all familiar with world geography in um, in Dragon Quest Three. Which is totally the real world. Alright, seeing as it's night, and I definitely want to visit this town at night. Let's just backtrack. Hey, did my return spell change the time of day? I thought it was night. Well, that's annoying. I didn't know that would happen. Alright, we're just going to have to bear with me for a little bit longer. Let's go explore to the... East of Kazaa. Why not? Just buying all that armor and weapons, though. I'm feeling much, much stronger. Those, um, caterpillars that are in the mountains around here, if you haven't seen it yet, because we've been killing them so quickly, they can cast the Defense Up spell on themselves. So, um, before we had awesome new weapons, they would buff themselves, and then we could only do, like, four or five damage, and the fights would just take way, way, way too long. I mean... I am still taking a fair amount of damage. So, you know, I think I was definitely correct to buy better armor. Because, uh, this could be dangerous. I haven't seen one of these yet. Never mind. Shadowers, three experience. Not very strong. So what do you think's to the east? We're, like, heading into Eastern Europe. But there's new enemies over here. So, like, I feel like this is dangerous. Also, enemies that look like gas clouds are often have area of effect uh, attacks. They can often use uh, infernos or gust or something. So I almost always try to focus them down. Okay, the crows are terrible. They get two attacks and do a lot more damage than any of these dogs do, even if they're zombie dogs. Yeah, I mean... Look, we were, we were on a good run here, killing everything really easily, and then as soon as we ran into a new zone, it's like, oh, by the way, by the way, you're still weak. So don't go that way. Not until you've leveled up a little bit and you've got some good armor and stuff. This stuff over here is pretty safe, though. I think we want to focus down the killer bee and the moth first. The moth does the surround spell. My, my apologies for the super speed. I just want to get back to town before. So there's, there's still east of town and north of town, and we haven't really explored those areas very well. Champagne is west, so that's probably where we should go to find... I believe that's... Someone said that's where Kandar is, I think. So that's probably, like, the next easiest direction, seeing as the enemies get so strong. Uh, if we have a look at our map... I guess north of us is sort of... Scandinavia, I guess, and then east is what's left of Russia. Um, Kazov is actually probably the very border of Russia now that I think about it. Or Poland or something. I don't know. Look. There's a town here! Let's go visit this town while we're here. Not a very happy town. Kind of sad. Thanks for the strength seed. So, uh, you remember someone in Kazav was saying, um, Hey, I think this guy's faking. <laughs> this guy's faking it. Everyone else is just zzz. This guy's, uh, mm, ooh, right, uh, zzz. <laughs> Can I just steal some items while I'm here? I'll, I'll pay for it, I promise. Ooh, Grandpa. Finding all kinds of steeds inside the ponds. Oh look, someone who's not asleep. Just keep exploring. Keep examining the carpet. Oh, 
I have no idea who you are, but please return the dream ruby to the elves. If they don't get it back, this village will be cursed forever. The elven village is near a cave in the western forest. The Tragic Tale. Another book of personality changing. Hey, did that guy move? Oh. Oh, that's cool. He just sort of reads his... He's like, Oh, you whippersnappers, give me back my book! Everyone else in this village is cursed. All I have is my books, and you stole it! Well, not a very happy town, you gotta say. Everyone's been cursed into eternal sleep. I'm fairly certain you can come back at night and it's exactly the same. But we'll test that, like, next episode. Besides, I'm pretty sure the monsters towards the elf forest are going to be more dangerous, so we're, we're probably not ready for that just yet. Oh good, a kilt. We're getting the best equipment today. Okay, let's uh, seed ourselves up. Uh, who needs strength? I'm actually going to give it to Fella because he's hopefully getting a boomerang very soon. And having more strength means more damage to everything. And we'll give some agility to our healer for now. So Dauber, you can have that one. I'll even just min-max this plus three because why not? I don't like I've got anything better to do. You guys have nothing better to do than watch me cheat. All right, but now I've got more space. So you can... I don't expect being... This just turns you into an emo or something, right? Uh, so the kilt is actually pretty good, apparently. I bet you it counts as physical armor. And it looks like it's better than chainmail for some reason. Friggin' Highlanders. But uh, it's probably the best equipment we're going to get for Holly for a long time. Even though it's made of leather. Uh, yeah, it definitely replaces the traveler's clothes. So I will get iron armor, which should still be better than a ter uh, ter uh, leather kilt. And then that way everyone in the party will have... I mean, that, that was a huge defense upgrade, to be fair, right? That was, like, significantly better. So, good catch. Our jester, we just have to keep her alive long enough, and suddenly things will be awesome. All right. Seriously, though, I need to end this episode, so we got to go back to Kazav, or Kiev, or whatever it's supposed to be. And it just needs to be nighttime. Let's just kill some zombie zombie dogs. But now that we've been to... We don't even know the name of that town, do we? Well, now we know that the name of the town is Noannials. I have no idea what the real world version of Noannials is. I assume that that town is supposed to be, like, maybe around Finland or something. Maybe. Now you get to see how long these fights take. Once you get these caterpillars casting defense on themselves and their friends. It just bogs it right down. Alright, please be night enough that I can... It's gotta be night enough. Look how dark it is. You've been watching me play this game for so long, it's midnight already. I, I could probably use those full moon herbs, to be honest. Alright, so it's actually night. Now, I know we started at night, but clearly I didn't know about this secret. So this is going to be the last little bit of secrets for today. Oh, it's rumored that the elves live in the hidden hidden in the forest west of Noannials. No one goes to Noannials anymore because it's cursed. Please, stop that. My husband might see you. Oh, uh, zzz. Z Ah, uh, these fan trans... I, I mean, I'm saying fan translations. I'm assuming that it's, that's truer to the original script than uh, our generally friend, family-friendly uh, North American releases are. <laughs> Alright, we're going to call that an episode, guys. Thanks for watching. A little bit longer than I intended. Uh, I'm going to play around in the um, Pachisi forest for a little... Or the Pachisi board for a little bit longer. Next episode, I'll let you know any cool new items I got. 
and then we will head... Well, I'd like to map out this area of the world a little bit better. Maybe we'll find the elf forest and we'll see if there's anything to the east. Um, maybe we'll do that next episode, but I expect what we're going to need to do is go to that champagne tower and assumedly that'll be the next correct area for, for our level. So we'll figure that out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and have a great day.